sisters. We sisters that. <laughs> I'm talking behind the scenes here to Mary Ellen. I said we could be sisters. We look a lot alike. It's kind of interesting. The dark hair, the blue eyes. She has a little bit better lighting than me today. <laughs> Go figure. But you know, it's funny how the other day it was the other way around and yet we still go forward and we do what God has put on our life to do. And so here coming in to do these interviews, Mary Ellen, I've had you on before in another one of the topics and direction you were going. And I just really, truly enjoyed that. And I'm honored to have you on today to share again about what God has put on your heart um, to do as a movement. I was just praying beforehand and mm. impact so many women's lives. I don't know if you're including the men in this. I didn't actually look at the Yeah, thing. no. Yeah, well, it's an honor to be back. No, this one uh, upcoming is going to be another women's event. Uh, I've been finding that there's something right now in this season about gathering women together. So, yeah, it'll yeah. be for women. Powerhouse women. And <laughs> I have the honor of being on your uh, newsletter, your email yeah. You know, okay. So I get yeah. to see some pretty awesome testimonies mm. and updates of lives changed. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about, you know, your journey in what you do, because you didn't just start doing challenges. No. You have a, a journey and story before challenges. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, wow. So, <sighs> I was just pondering that today again, 2001, 2002, around there I was, and it's a bit of a blur. It's funny how when you go through crazy times, it's like, what year was that? Kind of yeah. like right now, hey, we're like, what year are we in? Where and, am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Anyway, uh, suicidal, uh, go having gone through three crisis situations all at the same time. Oh, wow and uh feeling like god had completely abandoned me and just left just with the just the rug ripped out from under me the ground just completely wow. everything just turned to ash really it just seemed like and i was awake all night and you know asleep all day just in deep depression and everything just flipped around and oh my goodness so in that time, what happened was I had this incredible vision finally. I think we kind of chatted about this at one time that 3 a.m. I had this vision of like, I'm just calling out to the Lord, where are you, God? Because everything was just, just difficult. Like it was horrendous. I just wanted to die. I just was telling my husband, like, just kill me now. It's, it's wow. done. I'm done. I had nothing in my tank whatsoever wow. um and one morning at 3 a.m finally just kind of coming to the end of i don't know just crying out finally opening the bible um and opening it to the book of psalms and if you've read ever your listeners have ever read psalms i love psalms it's like so raw <laughs> <laughs> it's what definitely not PG, that? right? <laughs> it's like if anybody has oh, mood God. swings, <laughs> just go read the book of Psalms. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, this guy understands me. And uh, so King David was the writer of ma the majority of the Psalms, and he had mood swings and all kinds of things happening to him. And and I just was, it almost was like giving words and language to the emotions of feeling like God had completely betrayed me and abandoned me because the worst of my experience were at the hands of people who said they loved God and followed him. And so that was like, what? It was a huge paradigm or slap upside the head. I don't know. And, but it was when I look, I look back now, it was an opportunity. I see how God used it to show me to fix my eyes higher on who he is apart from people in leadership who say they love God. Mm -hmm. Right. And I had, I had put too much of my hope and trust in people, um, leaders, and not enough and who God is. And so I just finally broke at 3 a.m. one morning, just weeping. And I had this vision 
And I had never had like a vision like this ever before in my life. Um, now I have had visions, which is crazy. It's like, oh, we're in the season of like an increase in visions. If yeah. you are willing to look in the spirit, yeah. right? Uh -huh. This is amazing. But at the time, that was the first time I ever had a vision. I had just these big daddy arms reaching down to pick me up like I was a little child. Uh -huh. And I just heard just in this still like small voice, I heard, trust me. Uh -huh. And in the Bible, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is one of my like verses that I remember memorizing as a little girl. And it and it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean mm. not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll make your paths straight. Wow. And I realized, oh, I'm trying to make sense of this all. Like I was relying on my own understanding. And he's like, just surrender it all to me and I'll make him straight. And so when I... When I, when I just heard that, like straight paths, I was like, yeah, like I need straight paths. But my initial reaction was actually just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like you want me to trust you through mm -hmm. all of this? You know, like I basically incorrectly had attributed everything that I went through to God, right? Mm -hmm. And I gave him the credit for all the pain as opposed to, you know, the unfaithful um, people that had hurt me, right? Huge. And so at first I'm like, are you kidding me? Like just angry and yelling and swearing <laughs> at him. <laughs> and uh, oops. But he he's like, he's so good. He just let me beat my you know, fists on his chest. And, and, uh, and so then I just broke and I realized he was inviting me to, truly trust him and also then at the same time i had this picture the story go through my mind of the story of joseph in the old testament wow. you know betrayed by his own family sold as a slave wow. and yet god would later use him to save an entire nation from famine wow. right wow. and i was like I'm goosebumps just remembering this and i'm like Oh my gosh, the Lord wants to use this somehow to save an entire nation. Uh whatever. I'm just I just need my life right now. Like I was like, okay, whatever, you're going to use this for good. Wow. And uh I just then broke and I just wept and I I just said, "Okay, I'll trust you." And oh my goodness, all of a sudden the hope and the fight came back. Wow. And then I began to research. I'm a researcher. And so I began to research the medical journals for myself because sadly, I mean, this isn't everybody's experience, but for me, the doctor that I had had prescribed me some meds that were actually making it even worse. Like I was uh -huh. worse on the meds. So then I, I'm like, I'm going to find out for myself what is actually proven. Right. And I, so I looked online and I searched the medical journals online and I came up with like six basic things that I'm like, wow, how come my doctor never asked me about these things? Wow. And, and so I, I like put them all together, took the research to my doctor and said, look, and I had the support of my husband next to me. And I said, look, I need to wean off these meds and try this. That's actually proven in the medical journals. And he saw that I was serious. And had the support of my husband. And so sure enough, within wow. a couple of weeks, I was out of the woods, like complete turnaround, couple of weeks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I had a good friend who would come and like clean my bathroom for me and, and just was with me when I was on the couch for months. And we went out for coffee and she said, I can't believe how much things have shifted for you. Wow. And she was beginning to share loved ones in her own circles and family and such that struggle with depression. And she's like, would you be willing to share like some of your story? And I said, absolutely. And then she said, you need to share this like with a whole bunch of people. Like this is, you know, so this was 2003 that I was meeting for coffee with her. Wow. This is like 
Stacy, this Let is like the early days of the internet, okay? <laughs> no, no, I remember. <laughs> no, no. Do you remember like pre-social media? Like, What's wow. <laughs> like I was right. I was like, you want me to send you an entry or a wave? Yeah. What? How? Yeah. <laughs> I know. So I was trying to think. I'm like, well, how am I going to do that? How am I going to share my story? And then I just thought, well, I'll put it on a website. I'll figure out how to build a website and put it together. and it took off like i remember it back in the day on the first five pages like search terms for cure depression i was in the top five and wow. so all of a sudden there were 10 to twenty thousand people a month coming to this website wow, and Mary. signing up signing up for the course i put this I put a course together. Okay, this is like, <laughs> well, you know, like everybody's doing an online course now. This was like, you signed up and you would get an ingredient <laughs> in your email. I and then three, day, three days later, you would get another email with the next lesson. And like every three days, you get another one. Well, I don't know if you've been following or not, but now there's been over 2 million people. <laughs> over 2 million people in 120 countries That's have gone awful. through this research. Wow. So when, when I think of how the Lord said, you know, you're going to save an entire nation, like, wow, wow, somehow this has gone out. And so I've merely shared the research and I've done it for free. I like, now I'm like, why didn't I charge like seven bucks? <laughs> I know. Like, our mindset, right? I just yeah. But it's something back to, back to something you said when yeah. you say about saving a nation, yeah. like you're Canadian, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are we gonna go there? <laughs> and, so, and so am I. Yeah. And uh, when you said that, it brought tears to my eyes mm -hmm. because it might be touching, you know, the world. It is touching the world, but God has placed you in Canada. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really this, this is the heart of the people we have in Canada that are standing and rising up. And um, even the friend I was talking to earlier today, um, mm -hmm. they're pastors and, and prophets in Canada, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah, over 2 million fans. That's amazing. That's amazing, Sue. And you look at that and you're like, yeah, why have you placed me here, God? And, and in the middle of this, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, uh, Sue wrote this here to said, God reintroduced himself as who he wants to be in our mess. And as we know, there's such a mess all yeah. over the place. And God is using you, Mary Ellen. Yeah. And, you know, I just honor you and bless you in that. Thank you. You said yes way back 11 years ago. You <laughs> that email every day. Like that's creative because a lot of people wouldn't even know to do that. You know, no, no, I'm like, I feel like I was one of the first people to do a course, but, and I did it for free because I just felt like, like this needs, it's free in the medical journals. Like people need to know what is actually proven. Now you, here's the crazy thing, Stacey, you'll see this research everywhere now. Mm. And I'm like, oh, I bet you they signed up for my e-course one time. <laughs> Like, it's pretty cool how it's like, yeah. they just put it all together. And yeah, like you, I continue to get emails from people all over the world. Just like, oh man, like on medication for mm -hmm. 25 years and in depression for 25 years or more. And like seniors who've been in through decades of depression and discouragement and they've applied the research and they have said, I am med free and depression free. I've had nurses and doctors reach out to me like this. I'm like sending your website to my patients. Wow. And yeah. And I'm like, wow, Lord, thank you. Like here I was on the couch. Wow. And now you gave me fight and hope for the future. And I'm just like grateful for one that I'm alive to be with my family and I did not commit suicide and I can see what God is doing in the lives of people all over the place. And then I later became 
a life coach and spiritual director. So I do even meet with people one-on-one. -on -one. There's so much that I've learned since going through depression, applying the research and just seeing that there's like, there's a, there's a physical element to depression. There's an emotional, there's mental and there's spiritual. Mm -hmm. And I now get to walk people through all of those facets and depression is caused by so many different things. Mm -hmm. Right. And so just to, I love exploring the hearts of people, the lives of people and um, just looking yeah. for, okay, what's the key here and let's unpack it and see what's on the other side. So this event that we're doing love February that. 28th to March 4th is very personal for me because of where I've been. And we titled it from ashes to beauty, because mm -hmm. as you know, in Isaiah 61, in the Bible, Jesus has this, it's like, this was the prophecy pointing to Jesus, the Messiah, who then when he was walking the earth in the book of Luke, he op went into the temple, opened the scroll and read from this passage. And it talks about how the spirit of the Lord is on me. And it's like set captives free. It's like from turning from mourning to joy and ashes to beauty and broken cities to you know, new vibrant city. So this wow. whole complete turnaround, which is, that's like the story of my life. And lately I've been walking a group of women on a weekly basis. Wow. Um, we call ourselves the freedom coaching circle and we meet weekly and we're women from all, all different kinds of nations. And this verse that keeps coming up is Isaiah 43, 19. See, I'm doing a new thing. Mm. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? And it goes like this. I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in wow. the wasteland. Yes. And as you know, <laughs> like it's not just for our personal lives, but it's very much what's going on mm -hmm. in the world today and what God is doing. And wow. so I'm inviting women who are experiencing personally, though, hopelessness, loss, grief, apathy, discouragement, depression. And I love taking them through. It's like we are real mm -hmm. with where we're at and we mm -hmm. take it to the Lord. And we don't just learn like left brain about what the Bible says about who God is and what he does for us. But I love taking women through encountering. Like actually we're going to take women through hearing him speak. And even if women have like, I, what God speaks. I've never learned how to, I, I get to teach them in this event, uh, how the foundation of why we can hear him speak and then how, and uh, together we coach the women, we take them through activations and then we, we can go on zoom. So there's an opportunity to interact with each other on zoom and share. We go to the breakout rooms. And so we can privately share with women we do usually like three women in a breakout room yeah that's a good and, and it's just like iron sharpening iron and so this is this is for women who are just curious about the hope that jesus has for us good. and even if they're walking loved ones who need some hope you know they can come and learn about how to do this walking with others and so yeah wow Oh, you got a lot of good feedback here, Mary Ellen. You got a lot of women going, yes, pick me. You know, and, and I totally relate with your journey in my life and nothing better than to help someone through the hope that we've experienced in, in how God has brought us. And someone goes, well, how did that happen? And you're like, um, you know, I, I, I'm asked to share on different, panels or you know sharing challenges i'm like how did that happen you know <laughs> like, how did god take me mm -hmm. from this place sometimes we have the moments like you share and then other times it's just such a a transition of god speaking to us almost we're so unaware it's like when someone gives you an idea and you don't remember they gave you the idea and then you just create that happens with the god gives us something and then a change happens. And, and so when you're around, when, when women come around or men come around, somebody who carries breakthrough mm. pointing, 
like I watched my husband prophesying the other day. He gets on this Zoom. It's a totally like it's a network marketing thing that he's on, but he's doing a Zoom and these guys are all like spiritual intercessors from Africa. And all oh, man. <laughs> prophesying That's awesome. loud and he's giving words to people like nonstop. And I'm like, what happened? Because the anointing is in the room, right? The anointing yeah. is in the Zoom. <laughs> in the Zoom, yes. We're, we're there. And so, yeah. Alan, all that you have walked through and carry, that's what we keep learning in this online world is, you know, we're bringing what we've overcome in with Jesus, our testimony, and we're bringing the life of that and the hope of that and others can catch it. So yeah. when you feel, well, there's, you know, that's for you, but that's not for me. Mary Ellen saying, no, I want to walk with you personally. And in, in a group that's safe where other people are looking yeah. for these answers and, and to see breakthrough and healing. How beautiful is that? Like, wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's Ellen, been amazing. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, you go ahead. It's been amazing. Like you just said, the breakthrough, it's been amazing. Like we've done a, several different five day events and this one is specifically the ashes to beauty. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, I'm always kind of going in like, Lord, what are you going to do this time? And I was just spending some time with Sue Carpenter who's on today. She, you know, her. She, what's that? I saw your interview with her. I'm sorry. Oh, and <laughs> And I'm like, you guys should go from ashes to laughter. You should yeah. have like therapy. <laughs> I know. I just lost it. But today, okay, I'm talking about today, earlier before yes. this interview, she and I were praying together about the event. And uh, what the Lord showed us, wow, it was pretty incredible. And so I'm just like, okay, hey, Lord, this is your, this is your hope message wow. for women. You know, which women you know, who needs to be here at this event. And so Lord, would you just tap them on the shoulder and say, Hey, I've got something more for you and bring them to this event. Mm -hmm. And I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I'm like, what? What? That happened for you. That's amazing. Oh, like, no. <laughs> It's so awesome to see. It's like new births happening. Yeah, like come, come alive, come alive. Like we're talking women who have said that they were literally feeling like Sue a carpenter and they, in the interview that you saw, I think she said in that one, she said, yeah, it felt for years that she had fallen asleep. And then we connected and I got to lead her through <laughs> sessions and she's been public about it. And it's like, it's come alive. And Sue has been amazing. She's become wow. such a sweet friend as well. And yeah. so anyway, I just, yeah, I'm just been amazed at, um, when I hear stories, I'm like, really? Really? That happened for you? Oh, that's awesome. Like, this is so cool. God, what are you yeah. doing? You know, because you showed up. This is what yeah. I find. Like, one of the beautiful ladies on here, Julie, is in a family room with me. And uh, I'm astounded by mm. what God does in spite of me. Like, yeah. I just show up. And Holy Spirit takes what's on your life. And he, he impacts. And yeah. then all those people show up. And mm -hmm. they're carrying anointing, the yeah. people who come into your challenge. And it's like, once again, the anointing's in the Zoom. And <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. my next challenge. <laughs> I'm like, awesome. So going through that, you can feel like, for those of you who haven't been to a challenge, there's not a ton in here, but there are some um, that have never experienced a challenge and may not have experienced intimacy with God. Mm. And it might be scary to check this out, but there's going to be many strong women as well as Mary Ellen in the, in the challenge, in the breakout rooms, like she said, where you can feel safe and, and feel that you can be what, you know, you need to be. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So that's Mary so Ellen, what is um, one last thing that you would like to say to the women, um, yeah. invite the men. Yeah. Well, like I said, if you're feeling a bit blah or discouraged or feeling like things have died or been stolen from you in this season, or you're walking with people who've been experiencing some of that, come. I'm just getting goosebumps right now, actually, just thinking about it. It's like, come. 
-hmm. and we're like iron sharpening iron. And each day we're going to, I'm going to lead women through activations to hear God daily. First day is going to be the foundational of like, why are we created mm -hmm. to hear God speak and launching from John chapter 10. The second day is how Jesus asked the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? And he's asking that of us in Mark chapter 10. And then in, in day three, how the whole thing of Isaiah 61, ash, turning ashes into beauty. So Jesus came to do that in your life. And then day four, the great exchange. So mm -hmm. Isaiah 53 talks about how Jesus took on our sins, our sorrows, and our weaknesses so that we can be healed. And so we're actually going to be doing a pretty cool communion activation. So we're literally going to take communion together and wow. there's going to be an activation through that. And what we've done this before a few times with people in this group that I've been leading and like breakthrough has happened in the way that we take communion not in the way that some of us maybe have been raised to take communion, <laughs> but like we're like we're communing with Jesus. And then day five, <laughs> we are this is this is gonna be fun. Day five is how Jesus revealed his resurrection power first to women. So Mark wow. 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Mark chapter 16. So yeah, for women who are hungry for hope in this season for themselves or people that they're walking with, come and join us. And um, again, it's Monday to Friday, February 28th to March 4th. You can join us. And uh, if you can't make it live, you can watch the replays for a week. And then there is an upgrade. So it's like $27 to join us. That's it. And then if you want to join us in the Zoom interactive, you can upgrade for $20. We find that mm -hmm. having an admission fee, people who show up because they paid will show up there. It's then a safe place. It's not just anybody coming in and like, you know, whatever. It's like, no, they want to be here. They paid to be here. And then they paid the upgrade to be in the interactive Zoom. And we have found that the atmosphere then is safe. Uh -huh. vulnerable, authentic, like totally real. Yeah. And I'll just say, you know, women, you share whatever you're comfortable with sharing. You don't have to share anything at all. You don't have to share details. You can share just generally speaking, what that was like. Was it, you know, did you hear God at all? Or was it just like I say crickets <laughs> or <laughs> did you actually hear something? And if so, what was that like? And so I just, I just give the women permission to share whatever they feel comfortable with. And if they're stuck and they're willing to just say, I'm stuck, then we get to walk them through that too. So yeah, I just say, come, it's the, I know the link is on your screen yeah. there, but maryellen.com slash five days as it's scrolling by, there it is. <laughs> and so would love to see you. I just love to meet you. I love like interacting, like, oh, where are you from? Tell us where you're from. And, and I, we have these fun questions at the beginning every day, just so tell us, you know, like if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? And like fun questions like that, just to break the ice. And it's just relaxed and it's just a great time together. Sounds amazing, Mary Ellen. I, <laughs> I, I just know a lot of women's lives have already been changed from what I've seen. And hmm. God really has favor on your life in this area. And I'm just so thankful that you're stepping in and doing what God has, you know, put the fire in you to do. And so many women need this mm -hmm. message. Uh, mm. I've gone through many times of ashes and mm. like I'm back here again. And it's not my fault. Life circumstances happen, you yeah. know, and then, yeah, I remember this. Now, how do I walk through this? And yeah. that's, that's the gift that you're giving people is how yeah. I'll hold your hand. How do I walk through? That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like we just need somebody to say yeah. there's hope and you're worth it. Yeah. And, and isn't that awesome though? Like to be able to go somewhere and then, Hey, guess what? Come with me. There's, there's room for you too. <laughs> yes. Amen. Would you like to close us in prayer? Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much. Yeah. Lord God, we just, I just, once again, am so grateful for the work that you've done. Wow. Just, 
in me personally and through the women that I've had the honor of meeting with uh, privately and in group sessions. And Lord, I just ask that you would just bless those who are watching and listening right now. Lord, would you pour out your love for them and comfort them? I ask that you would bless them with your spirit of hope spirit of joy and love and peace right now. And Lord, if if you are inviting them to be a part of this, Lord, would you make it make it happen for them just for schedules to open for just the yeah, just the opportunity to come and be a part of a journey over 5 days, just meeting other women who are also hungry and thirsty for you that they could experience community and iron sharpening iron. And Lord, we just thank you. Lord, would you bless Stacy? I thank you for her faithfulness uh, and her hunger and thirst after you and, and your righteousness. And Lord, would you just bless her and all her um, viewers and the people that she's ministering with and serving with and doing business with and, doing life with, Lord. We just thank you. ask you to just keep her healthy and full of your life and your joy. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. What a blessing to always, I, I to talk to you. We share a common connection. Yes. <laughs> to both of us from back when I was at Bible school back in Saskatchewan in Canada. So, yep. so neat to meet you. Mary Allen, and I know I'm going to meet you in person. Uh, she said, amen, Julia. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it's got to happen. Thanks yeah. for having me, Stacey. Bless you so much. Yeah. Thank you. you. Okay. Have a good day. Take you care. too. Bye-bye. <laughs>